Dear Margo, thank you for all you have brought us. First, in your life as leader of our new movement, I was so fortunate to be brought into the world when you had been here, leading the way for so many of us, spreading horror, pride, righteousness, and, and fight around the country and the world. I knew of you before we actually met. In the mid 70s, my mom was involved with the National Organization for Women on Long Island, New York. Mom was an avid, sex positive, and very open feminist from the earliest times. She invited you, Margo, to speak before the other housewives. Your message of whores' rights made feminism make sense especially when I looked at the repressive feminist expressions that were sex negative and based on shame. I held off doing prostitution until I was in my late 20s. I was in San Francisco and the first thing I did was to look for you and Coyote. I went to a NOW meeting where Priscilla Alexander, your friend and comrade, was explaining sex worker rights to feminists in San Francisco. I was a little intimidated by you, Margot. Mostly, I recall that you always went right to the point, almost speaking in political haikus. I recall your generosity, making sure we were nourished intellectually and with food at meetings. It was heavenly to be with you and Priscilla, partaking in the development of analysis around prostitutes' rights. This was a red diaper baby's dream. Coyote is where I learned about intersectionality. You and Priscilla both explained again and again that sex worker rights activism should be based on the way laws and discrimination impact those who are most affected among us. Sex workers understand that we're in the front lines, that we are in the avant-garde, that we exist at the intersections of possibility, poverty, oppression, resistance. You taught me that too. I want to thank you especially for supporting my art and performance. You know, that's pretty rare. You always looked out for me like a big sister and especially as a performer. Your hookers balls and myriad shows were uplifting and exciting for the artists too. You were prostitute, sex worker, activist, founder and leader, fantastic pot grower, detective, artist, law student, midwife, and a lover and friend and inspiration to so many. You passed away on January 11th, also my birthday. I understand, I understood you were not well, but I didn't understand that you would pass so soon at 83. I was kind of in shock, as were others in our communities. Over the last weeks since your passing, our friends have cumulatively shared our love for you with each other. We will miss your presence and we will hold and amplify your compassion, genius, and courage as you expand throughout the world. Love, Scarlet Harlot.